Alright y'all, what's good? I wanted to do a quick video on uh, just this tweet here and this image right here. So, funny tweet going around. Said so this is porn star Lana Rose. Most of y'all know her. Uh, well, you if you you know if you watch porn, you obviously know who she is. But this is porn star Lana Rose. This is her son. He, this dude look like Blake Griffin. <laughs> I don't know if that's Blake Griffin's kid or not. I don't care if it is. That's none of my business. What kind of got me was this tweet here, right? And, you know, all right. So this is from this guy named Doc. He said, choosing someone with an hour-long cum shot compilation to be your baby mama is nuts. Now, I got a lot of tweets, likes, all that. One thing that bothers me so much is how, like, people be faking the funk so fucking much. Like, I'm not saying I know something about this person, but I'm just looking at the likes, and a lot of people like this. I guarantee y'all, more than, more, more, the majority of people that like this tweet are the ones who literally, at this moment, are probably beating off the Lana Rhodes uh, as we speak. Or any porn star or whatever. Whoever they like to beat off to. Girls too. They like to rub it out to whoever. It's weird how you can just mentally lust and fantasize about somebody. But later act all different and talk so much shit about them on a the regular. Even though you know for damn sure you be uh, choking your chicken to it. It's like those people that. For example. I give a prime example. Because I know a motherfucker like this. You, let's say you're talking to a girl, right? And when you first met her, you're like, oh, she's sexy as hell. She's bad as hell. She a 10 out of 10. You you admit it to yourself that she's sexy as hell. She does something you don't like. Like, I don't know. She walks past you and farts by, your, farts by you and you get pissed. And then you say, ugh, she's ugly. Like, bro, what you mean she ugly? You literally just admitted she's sexy as hell. Yeah. It was nasty that she farted right next to you and just did something that pissed you off. But don't change up and act like you did not just admit that you think this, think this girl is beautiful as hell. You know? Or let me give another example. Let's say you, you know, you, you, uh, let's say you buy a game. You gassed it up and you just love it. You was like, oh my gosh, this game is so amazing. You just bought it. And you find out one of the developers who made the game, I don't know, they murdered somebody. And you out of nowhere start saying, oh, this game is trash. Like, nah. You literally was just saying this game was amazing just like a minute ago. Just because you found out this one little bad thing about it, don't go acting different when you been gassing up this game and saying it's amazing. Like, look, it, me, all right. I know a lot of people don't respect, like, you know, sex workers and stuff. I mean, look, you can feel how you feel about it. Me, I just find it weird that you literally stroke your, you choke your chicken to these people, but you slander the shit out of them and what they do. Like, you talk so much shit about them. It's, it just blows my mind. It's like, it's weird. It's a, it's, it's a, it's a weird mental process. You you are lusting for these people. You want these people. Most dudes, for example, most dudes on the internet or in general want to fuck the shit out of Tiana Trump. Most dudes want to fuck the shit out of Tiana Trump. Even the ones that are supposedly self-respecting want to fuck the shit out of Tiana Trump. But most men going to admit it. And even the men that bash them for admitting something like that are the ones who literally want to do the same exact thing. It's like... Bruh, look, y'all can feel how you want about these sex workers and stuff. I don't care. But Lana Rose is a retired sex worker. So it's like she's she's moving away from that life. You can't keep holding this person's past to them. Like they're they're literally trying to move on from their past. And people think Lana Rose past is all that she is like. Nah, yes, your past is a part of you. But if you're moving away from something, we should be, in, we should be, you know, 
helping her move forward, just like we all want to move forward. You know, imagine being held by your past 24-7. Like, people constantly going back to your past all the damn time. Like, that shit is a fucking annoying. In general, that is annoying. People focus so much on the past and do not focus on the future. And this is why we don't progress as a community, as a people, as a as a society, because so many motherfuckers be stuck on the past and not trying to move forward into the future. Like, you know, I'm not saying you can't talk about the past or remember things from the past, but it's just weird, especially with these porn stars and stuff, especially the retired ones. People will focus on their past so much and hold them to their past. It's like, I understand that's their past and they did a lot of it. But if they're retired, especially moving on, I mean, you move on too. Like, move the fuck on. Stop staying in the past. You can't move forward if you're stuck in the past. You need to acknowledge your past to be able to move forward. But if you're stuck in your past, you're going to stay in the past. So... Keep moving forward, you guys. Keep moving forward. But, you know, that's I just wanted to talk about that real quick and just get my opinion. Just think it's weird. Motherfuckers be fantasizing about these people literally stroking their meat to it. And then later uh, want to, wanna like, slander the hell out of these people. Now, depends what they say. But still, y'all literally fantasize about these people but talk so much shit about them. It's crazy. Blows my mind. What did you do?